Hello Magical Box Lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen, I am 45 years old because it was my birthday last week. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, year older, I'm now 45. Um, yeah, so as you know, I live in Derbyshire and we've actually got blue skies. It's an absolutely gorgeous day out there so I can't wait to get outside later on when I've finished filming. Um, so yeah, beautiful out there. Right, so what you've come for is today's June monthly subscription box for Freya's Golden. Yay! <laughs> Here we go. So as usual, uh, I'll just explain to you the outer packaging. So it came in this packaging for a change, usually it's like a, a blue coloured packaging, so it was a grey one, so I wondered, oh, what's this one? <laughs> so it surprised me a little when I opened it, like, oh, where's Freya's Cauldron? Wasn't expecting that, because uh, deliveries have all been a little bit later, because we've had the Platinum Jubilee for the Queen, um, so deliveries have been a little bit later, they're normally a little bit earlier in the month uh, than what they are. So everything's been a little bit delayed because of that. So, so yeah, it surprised me that it was in different packaging. So, as usual, it's just plain packaging. Nothing on there that says which related Freya's Cauldron. Nothing like that at all. On the label itself, obviously, I've just blacked out my address. There's a QR code thing there for the postman. I don't know what that says, so it, it may say return address Freya's Cauldron. I don't know. But there's nothing actually written on there that says Freya's Cauldron or anything witch oracle related. Uh, and on the return address part there, uh, it just says the address. It doesn't actually say Freya's Cauldron on there because some places actually say the name of the company. So yeah, nothing on the outer packaging that relates to the product. Okie dokie, so the box itself, so as usual... I have opened the box, uh, I've got rid of the little noodle doodles uh, and with those I always recommend that you just fill up your sink just with some warm water and they just dissolve in warm water. If you do use cold water it still does the same effect, it just takes a little bit longer. So nice warm water, it dissolves a lot, dissolves a lot quicker. So yeah, so I have looked but I haven't 100% looked, I've just got the noodles out, put things back haven't unwrapped things properly, haven't opened things properly, haven't even looked at the list of contents, so it's 99% unopened. <laughs> so here we go, so what I'll do is I'll get the contents out as usual and then I'll go in more in depth of what they are. So we'll open this box together. So yeah, so it's Praise Cauldron for the month of um, June. And of course, if you're wanting to find the website, just type in Freya's Cauldron, you'll find them. Uh, they've also got a YouTube site that you can um, join and in it she, uh, I think her name is Mel, the lady who helps create a lot of the spells and things in here. Uh, she goes in depth on how to actually perform the spells and rituals. So again, you just type in Freya's Cauldron and you'll find it. Uh, it's got the same logo on the little, you know, the little round circle. It's got the same logo, so it, it helps. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend you check that out because she goes into detail of each spell and ritual as well as other things as well that she does on there. So I recommend that you do that. And of course, they've got a Facebook group as well and Instagram, but not so much on Instagram I've noticed. But Facebook, uh, when they get new items, because they also have a shop. Again, just type in Freya's Cauldron. That's how I got this because they also do a moon box and a crystal box. They are not subscription box. They are they, you do get them monthly, but they are first come first served, and they do go pretty quickly. And it's usually like the second or the third um, week in the month that they're released. So it's best to join the Facebook group because as soon as they release, she puts out an announcement that they're released. And of course, any new items that are on the website, again, full photos, what the price are and everything and the link. So I highly recommend you join the Facebook group really. And that's really, really good and helpful. Really good group. So there we go. This is what you wanted to see what's in the box. So do, I keep wanting to say July, I don't know if I'm in denial because it's been my birthday, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, June 2020, Freya's Cauldron, here we go. So as usual, there's uh, the contents page, 
I'll refer to that if I get stuck. I haven't actually looked at that, so I don't know the contents properly. Uh, the Book of Shadows are usually in that. Um, this I did read, I'll explain about that later. And these are normally your spells and rituals. These are what I'm, I'm referring to as in the YouTube channel. She goes in detail into these spells and rituals of how to work them best. They still remind me of sweet papers. There we go. Can't read that one backwards. That. Oh, that's pretty. What's that? A sun, sun cell, I think. So that's the crystal of the moon. That feels, feels like a book. Oh, so there's nothing written on that at all. So no clue there. The herbs, no, we normally get some herbs of the month. Solar power herglet, there we go. Could read that. So there's a lot of intriguing things in here. <laughs> uh, incense cones. Oh, cool. I've just recently bought a new uh, incense cone. I've got a backflow one, but I've bought a new incense cone holder and it's actually, you know, the plague doctor with the long beak uh, mask and his eyes are actually cut out. So when you, you light the cone, all the smoke comes out of the eyes. It's, 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 it sounds really horrible, but it's actually quite cute. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I'm a bit weird. <laughs> Uh, as usual, we get candles. Whoops. There we go. Oh, they're pretty. And that's the noodle doodles that I'm referring to. These warm water, they dissolve really quickly. Cooler water, not as quick. But you can see just with the warmth of my hand, they're already starting, starting to go misshape. So, yeah. There we go. So I didn't realise at first when I started getting these boxes that the they do like dissolve in water. So I was going, oh, all this waste in the end of the, the dissolve. <laughs> it was actually thanks to um, um, one of my YouTube subscribers that actually let me know about that. So thank you very much. I can't remember your name, but thank you very much for that. Um, it's like a toilet roll. <laughs> well, it's actually... It's quite heavy, I don't know what that is. It's definitely not toilet roll, but I don't know what that is. That's interesting. The sun, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the sun's just really come out just there. And we usually have an oil, so I'm presuming that's what this is in the corner that I can't grab. So we've got some type of oil. Well, that's very yellow, that one. Right, so we've got a lot of things to investigate. So what I'll do is I'll have a look at the little ingredient, ingredients, you know what I mean, uh, list of contents, that's the word I'm trying to search for. So it says, welcome to our June Spellkeeper's Chest. This, this month is all about solar power and of course the summer solstice, Letha, uh, a time of year that's full of energy and power. Okay, so I'll count how many items we've got and all of the items are Freya's Cauldron's exclusive so you can't really just go out and buy them. Obviously incense cones you can go out and buy and candles you can go out and buy but these items are specifically done for Freya's Cauldron so it's quite difficult to reproduce. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Ten items, okay. So I'll just show you this leaflet because this I did actually read. I'll just show it you. So we have got, so subscriber shop. We have opened the subscriber shop for one last time so that subscribers can purchase past box items they have missed. The shop will be open until the 30th of June when it will close permanently. So there's a subscription code and it's for subscribers only. So that's very good so I'm definitely going to check that out once once I've finished the video I'm going to check that out so that's nice that it's, it's a little bit of um, a reward for um, buying these boxes which is nice because um, which casket and which box uh, when you check out on their website if you are a subscriber you have uh, a link anyway that's um, 
that you do get with your subscription order um, so that you can buy from their shop uh, and you can buy certain items that other people can't buy uh, which is a kind of like um, a thank you you know for for doing the subscription which is which is really nice so it's nice that they do that as well right so where to begin i'll start with the book of shadows pages so I've got my, my trusty unicorn scissors that are the sharpest scissors known to man very very sharp i bought them off wish if anyone's interested they've got um um, silver ones, rose gold ones, I think there's something like a pound and then it's like four pound posted packaging. It wasn't, but you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what it's like on wish, you're like, oh, bargain, like 2p and then posted packaging is like 20 pound. There we go. Right, so I'm not going to show these because they do have a copyright on, but I will explain just, just what what I've got here. So, welcome to another Spellkeeper's Chest and this month we are celebrating our sacred spaces with use of some useful products and ideas. So, it's explaining the uses of solar power oil, which I believe, yes, we've got the oil there. So, I'll explain that at the same time, it makes sense. So, we've got solar power candle dressing oil. So, is it, there you go, I'll show you that solar power candle dressing. Uh, so this is their own recipe that you can't buy anywhere else. Uh, I did get in touch with uh, Faye's Cauldron uh, asking about the ingredients of like their herb selections and the candle oils and the reason why they don't let you know what's actually in them is because they're a secret family recipes that have been handed down throughout the generations. So I 100% understand that, totally respect it as well. And I'd like to think that you guys do as well. Um, normally, I like to know exactly what's going in things so I can in, in, like enhance that energy that's going in by... Ex you, you, you understand, you, you put your energies into things. Um, but yeah, I, I totally understand where they're coming from. So that's why I like to explain to you guys that, yeah, that is what they do. Um, yeah. So it's, it's nice to know that it's not just something that I've just thrown together. It is something that is tried and tested throughout the generations and it is their tradition. So I, I do like that aspect. So yeah, I 100% respect that phrase, Cauldron. So that's their own solar power oil that you can't buy anywhere else only Freya's Cauldron they do have if you don't want to go through the website you can buy them them on eBay they do have an eBay site and that is how I very very first found Freya's Cauldron was through eBay <laughs> all those years ago uh, so yeah so that's the solar power oil and it explains to you how to use the oil and then obviously spell candles which we've got four beautiful uh, four three beautiful coloured and again these are made for Freya's cauldron, cauldron, cauldron and of course purple's one of my favourite colours so yeah look at those colours together absolutely beautiful I and mean, they're just perfect size I, I love this size candle that is just just right you know just right there we go so that, that's the candles and then we've got the herb jar, which again, like I've explained, is their secret blend. So solar power herb blend. On there is actually their website. So I'll show you that. But just type in Phrase Cauldron. We all we all know our websites work. Just type in Phrase Cauldron. You don't need the www dot, you know. I think those days are long gone, aren't they really? So just Phrase Cauldron. So Ooh. I can't pick out anything in particular I'm not very good when herbs are all mixed together I can I can pick out that got a got a rose petal <laughs> but yeah have a smell at those <laughs> beautiful blend there absolutely beautiful and beautiful jar I love these hexagon jars I love them I love them I think they're really cute and so so yeah so these papers, they're referring to what is actually in the chest. That's what it looks like. Yep. So that's that one. And then we've got some information about the sunstone. So I was right. So I'll show you the crystal now. So we've got the sunstone. It's beautiful. I, I, 
I've got loads of months, months, months. I can't get my words out today. I really apologize. <laughs> As you can tell, I never edit videos. I like my videos to be real, not fake, not made up, not Photoshop, not edited. What you see is the real me. That is how I like to roll. Um, so yeah, so you will see mistakes. You will see me stumbling over words. Uh, yeah, that is me, that I'm a genuine person. What I cannot hide my emotions. If I'm enjoying a box, you will see that. If I don't like a box, you will also see that. So yeah, I never, never edit my videos. If like the postman comes, I will pop you on a quick pause, get the post, come back, unpause you. But I always let you know if I'm putting you on a quick pause. Um, so yeah, that's how I roll. And yeah, so I just like it to be real because nowadays everything is fate. It's it's just it's people aren't real anymore. So I'm I'm trying to get back to realism. And yeah, it's just how I like to roll. Keep it real, keep it fresh. And I I, I think you guys like that as well. Rather than every two seconds is like a little <laughs> little. I see that all the time on videos, and I'm like, oh, they must have cut something out there. I blinked and I missed something. Uh, no, none of that here guys, none of that here, plus it takes up a lot of time, yeah, and time's precious, <laughs> so there we go, so, right, sunstone, that's what we're on about, wasn't it, so the sunstone, so yeah, I've got a lot of moonstones, but I don't really gravitate towards sunstones, I think I've only got about one or two, so this is a nice one for my collection, so I'll let you guys have a little look, so of course, uh, we're coming up to Letha, uh, I'm trying to think what date it is, I think it's the 11th that I'm filming this, so not long, about 10 days, and we're actually in Talitha, or as I call it, Stonehenge Day. <laughs> uh, on my altar, I've got a beautiful art uh, print of Stonehenge, because uh, I, I have actually had the privilege of visiting, and it is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm also lucky enough where I live in Derbyshire, we've got the Nine Ladies Stone Circle, uh, if you do live nearby, um, it's just outside of Bakewell, a place called Rowsley. Um, it's a little bit difficult to get, twisty, windy, very, very narrow roads, but the energy there is really, really intense. And you can just sit there, uh, people actually camp out there. Uh, when it was bell time, people, uh, they actually had a hand fast in there and um, on the Facebook group that I'm actually involved in. They actually put beautiful photographs of this hand fasting. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, so it was beautiful that they actually shared that with, with us. Um, so yeah, Nine Ladies Stone Circle. And it's just, I think it is called Rowsley where it is. Um, but yeah, check that out because the energy is, whoa. And the energy changes. That's all I'm saying. If you've been there, please write down in the comments your experiences there. I'm not going to say anything because if people who've been there will understand exactly what I'm meaning. The energy changes from when you're going to when you're coming back. That is all I'm saying. And yeah, I, I'd like, if you've been there, please put in the comments down below. Please. I'd love to read it. I'd love to read it. So there, and, and again, anything with Stonehenge or any circles, uh, if you know of any nearby to me, I live in Derbyshire, I've been to the Arbolo one as well. That is really, really strange, Arbolo. Uh, I'm like, if aliens haven't landed there, I don't know who has, because it just looks like a, a landing strip for a great big UFO. That's another story. Anyway, so how did we get onto that? We're on about a crystal. <laughs> anyway, sunstone. So yeah, absolutely beautiful. So as we know, sunstone is fire element, obviously. And uh, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So, and it came with the information part. Every time she does a crystal, we get the information part for the Book of Shadows. And the next part of the Book of Shadows, because we're still going through this, is we've got sun correspondences. There we go. Uh, I've just recently got a really, really good book by Llew Llewellyn, uh, and it's got every single correspondences you you need and use. I think it's something called like the complete book of correspondences, and it is amazing. It's about like that. It wasn't cheap. It was about eighteen pounds, 
but it is massive and it is a bible if you're if you're like me you're a, a wiccan witch or if you follow a different path but if you're into witchcraft and um, spellcraft any type of witchcraft um it is it, it it's basically a bible really that we need and it's uh, or you could say a recipe book is perhaps a better word than a bible um for what like a sunstone and what it means what are its astrological meanings what can you use it for what spells can you use it for where does it come from like with herbs uh rosemary uh where does it grow what can you use it for what's its substitute it's got everything in there it is literally complete so yeah Llewellyn's complete book of I think it's magical correspondences but if you type in correspondences it means that there are some books out there but that is the best one really is amazing it's like a brick so it is it's quite a heavy book but it is worth it in the value for money for that much pages you do get um, so that's that so we've got this one says significant solar so that also uh, is talking about uh, solar energy and deities connected with the sun so there we go so that's all the book of shadow pages just gone through as well as those few items so we'll go on to the incense cones so we've got solar power incense cones so I'll be using those later so I've just run out of my lavender ones that I've got they're beautiful so we'll open this one Trusty scissors. I feel dead posh now. I'm remembering to bring scissors along. There we go. I, I, I know what this is because we we get one each time there's a solstice coming up. Oh wow! Look at that. How beautiful is that? I love that. So even if you weren't, because um, not everybody celebrates uh, the Wheel of the Year, which I appreciate, everyone's path is their own. Uh, so that you don't have to celebrate the Wheel of the Year, you can simply celebrate the energies of the sun. Oh, that is amazing. I love that. And some people actually use, like, you know, these Sharpie pens and do colour them in. I'm not that brave. <laughs> but it's that pyro tech. I can't pyro art you, you understand what I'm trying to say um, but it's absolutely amazing you can see the fine how fine it is and it's like done on plywood so each time there's like a solstice or it's about or some or, well they're doing them also for espats as well because if you have the moon moon boxes you get one of these tiles in with the, the moon of the month and they're beautiful as well I don't get many of those boxes because I'm I get a lot of boxes as you can imagine doing these videos um, I'm getting I think it's four boxes a month that I get so getting moon boxes and crystal boxes as well is a little bit over the top if, if you know what I mean sometimes I do um, it all it all depends on the month whether I'm wanting to or not uh, so yeah that's beautiful um, I'm saving this one till last because I'm, I'm really intrigued with that so this one hasn't got any writing on it at all. As you know, I save all these. So yes, yeah, so I'm quite pleased that there's no writing on it because I normally try and pick them off. Sometimes I'm not successful. Oh, I love this. It's a little notebook. Look at that. How beautiful. And it's phrase cold and exclusive, the little logo that I'm trying to get it so it how beautiful is that that's an amazing tattoo idea as well Freya there you go that is absolutely beautiful I love that that is so cute it is cute and beautiful at the same time it says, it says it all doesn't it? it just says it all see things don't have to be dark and gothic and mysterious you know that just says it all that's beautiful that I love that and in it it's just plain plain paper so you can use that as like a sketchbook if you want or just 
just as a notebook, whatever you, you, you choose really, or you can use it to press flowers. Um, that's another idea, you could press your flowers in there, pop your flower in, then pop a heavy book on, and then you've got a nice flower press. There you go. Beautiful, I love that. That is really cute. I like them. I haven't got anything like that. All mine are really like gothic and thing. You, as you as you can imagine. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. So we're down to these two. So we have got Aletha drawing down the sun ritual. Okay. So I'll just cut across here. And as you know, I put these in my little. Uh, little boxes so these will go in a separate box because they're for the upcoming solstice so the solstice box <laughs> I'm so organized it's because I'm so forgetful people don't realize I am really really forgetful and so I have to be highly organized this is something I've developed throughout my life because I am so forgetful I really am yeah I really am forgetful and that is why I'm highly organised because this brain don't work. If I don't write it down, it's gone, you know. So that's that's why I organise my boxes. So yeah, th this will go in like the summer solstice boxes uh, and then I'll pick out what I want to do and like I've explained, um, I will write out like the spell or the ritual in my own writing. Uh, and then that'll go like in my book of shadows. My book of shadows isn't like a book, uh, it's purely a lever arch file and I put the um, what I've written into a poly pocket so that if anything spills on it, it I can just wipe it and then I will put the actual um, published part that, of the spell that came with it inside it so then I know, oh that ritual came from Flayers Cauldron so many years ago that's how I, I do it and then I'll also um, put a page in and I'll write how it went, how I was feeling and th things like that. I'll put useful information and then I'll refer back to it and I'll probably add to it if it needs be uh, or put any like tweaks if I do it again, do such and such or if I did any substitutions. So it's, it's to make it my own rather than just going yeah I've done that and that's it you know. I always like to write it out, plus it gives me more of an understanding of the spell or the ritual by writing it out, uh, rather just on the day, getting that and going, what, what do I need to do? <laughs> and plus I can't can't read this writing, you know, if, it, if I'm doing it by candlelight, which I, I do, uh, I can't read it. I mean, now, yeah, it's, it's uh, we're fortunate now it stays lighter for longer, so it's not so much of an issue, but it, it just, it makes it yours. That is how I do it. Uh, I'm just letting you guys know because it, it gives you ideas as well. But how you do it is totally up to you and everyone is individual and that's okay. It's okay to be different. That is the thing with witchcraft. It is how you do it. Everybody has a different way of doing it. Don't let anyone tell you that this is the way, this is the only way to do it. No, you've got to do it what feels right to you and inside. Otherwise it won't work. It won't work. You've got to do what feels right for you. Okay. So Letha drawing down the sun ritual. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so ooh. Ooh. cracky. I, I don't well well that one. Excuse me whilst I go and find what's just dropped on the floor. <laughs> I do like my t-shirt. <laughs> So we've got a, a, a dusty candle <laughs> with dog hair on it. I will have to check that properly for cracks, but I have got another red one, so just in case. So it's a bright red candle. A lot of, um, there's, there's, it's like not much wick, if you know what I mean. It's all just wax. Unusual. Don't know if it's intentionally like that or... Here's where there's no wick in it. <laughs> I've had that before now, not with Bray's Cauldron. Uh, I actually bought some candles from eBay. <laughs> I'm trying to light it, man. what's wrong with this can? There's actually no wick in it. <laughs> uh, right, so 
basically it is obviously you're going to do it when it's lethal uh, so it says the purpose of doing this is to recharge your energy levels in preparation for the darker months ahead okay so that's what that is what we've we got in here because I don't want to open it if it's herb I think it's just herbs so yeah it's just a herb blend so using a candle and a herb uh, you, you're going to do a ritual obviously I can't read it out because it's got a copyright on it so you do a, a ritual to help recharge your own natural energies by using the sun's energy so you, you've heard of drawing down the moon well this is drawing down the sun um, so yeah I don't I, I've explained before I don't really work with sun energy I'm more moon energy because I've always had an affinity with with the moon um, it just comes more natural to me um, so that's that's a diff different aspect of it but it's definitely worth a try and of course you don't need to do it just on leith I don't think that these rituals oh you can only do it on that set set day and that set time can do it any time that there's like a really good sun uh, so summer's coming up uh, you know on a really high summer's day you can do it then there you go so that's an interesting one that I'll definitely give a go and the next one is sunrise and sunset ritual ah, okay. I've noticed we haven't got one of the little metal um, necklaces which I'm a bit disappointed at um, I normally hang that up out where I've got my altar. I've got um, I've now got a um, triple moon shelf and a pen, um, pentacle shelf as well. I normally hang it up on those so it's dangling down. Um, I haven't got one of those. So I'm a little bit <laughs> now whether there was a problem with them, I don't know. So I'm not going to have a full set. Uh, there we go. So this so uh, summer solstice 21st of june so it tells you so if if you want to grab a pen uh, it actually says dates at uh, the times here so sunrise is 0443 this is in england obviously uh, greenwich mean time and sunset is 2122 and the 20th second the 23rd and the 24th sunrise and sunset times are the same the 18th 19th and 20th of june and 20 yeah <laughs> are 0442 is the sunrise and sunset 21 21 so it's just like a minute out difference so this is um, these spells can be done on any one of the days above both spells should be done on the same day as possible so it's a sunrise spell for mental well-being so you do the spell in the morning at the sunrise and then you do the spell again at sunset so obviously there's going to be a lot of dedication there getting up at 4.43 to do that so it's an interesting one i like that she's done the times on there so we've got a chamomile tea unusual we've got an orange and a bluey looks like yeah looks like bluey purple and a blue candle and nothing else so let's see so I'm a little bit confused because it says to use lemon infused water. So I think that should have been a lemon tea instead of chamomile tea. So yeah, interesting. I have to get really up really early for that one, but it's one to think about. I may not be doing it. Uh, I do work night shifts, so it's going to be quite difficult to actually do, but yeah interesting i like the idea of that a, a more doing a morning and a night one so that's something to think about for the future perhaps but yeah i think the the tea is the wrong one i think it should have been a a lemon tea rather than a chamomile tea 
have perhaps just run out or just grabbed it by mistake but I have got lemon tea anyway so that's okay so we're down to the last item which I, I think it looks like a toilet roll tube but I'm thinking yeah I can use this for such and such yeah what can I put in <laughs> how my brain works right so I have not opened this and it feels quite heavy so opens up your guess is as good as mine so it's lovely sturdy tube really solid oh, I think I know what it is it's like in you know when you go to a chip shop it's like in that paper in fish and chips could you see that and mushy peas yeah it is what I thought it was going to be Ooh. Look at that. I'm trying to show you without it. I don't want to, don't want to be the person that does that. I hate I hate seeing that myself. Can you do that? Can you see the engraving? So it's actually got the goddess like drawing down the sun, which is an unusual take really, because obviously the goddess represents the moon so that's an unusual take but I really like that and have we got we've got uh, the goddess is on all four sides so I'm just trying to get a really good angle so it's engraved that is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful so yeah on all four sides are the same very heavy so we've got a, a little chalice. Does it say anything on the bottom? It doesn't say anything on the bottom. But look at that. I have just actually about a month ago bought a, a new chalice because I've been using like a uh, an earthenware one, and it was starting to get really stained. And that's I like to use wine, and uh, so it's getting really highly stained. And I actually bought a really beautiful um, silver one, and so now I've got a, one of these. It's beautiful, but I might actually swap and change. You know, you keep this one for like sabbat. Uh, yeah, sabbats. That'd be interesting. That bring it because I have it out for the other one for an offerings, as in general. This I could use like for special occasions because it's really nice. I might do that. Keep this just for like like you know you know the. Um, celebrations uh, like your Letha and, uh, and like mass what's coming up next oh that is absolutely beautiful I love that the engraving and the, they could have just given you just an ordinary one you know a plain one but it's the fact that they've gone to the trouble of actually engraving it I love and you've got the spiral on a tummy Trying to. That is absolutely beautiful. I love that. I'm blown away by that. I love it. And it's just a nice little size. It's not a really massive thing. Because you only need a little bit. You don't, it's the essence. It's, it's not the quantity. It's the thought. And that is amazing. I mean, some people even just use little egg cups because if they, they haven't got a lot of room, they'll use like a little egg cup. Don't think you need a great big bowl, you know, the, the gods are grateful for or, or whoever. Uh, it's the thought, the intention behind it. It's not the volume. That is, that is beautiful. I really love that. Love that. So thank you very much, Freya. Uh, my only disappointment is that I know I'm picky I'm picky is the little metal thing would have been lovely for this month whether there's a, a problem with uh, the production of it I, I don't know uh, or whether they started last year but I don't think they did I think that I think they started uh, at the beginning of this year I'm pretty certain they did if you have got last year's box and it did come with Letha just let, let me know same same me guessing Um. so yeah brilliant box I said that that was the only little tiny thing that's just me being picky because I like to have a full set of things I'm I'm a natural born collector I can't help it it's just how I how I is <laughs> I, I'm a collector um so yeah 
I'll shut up rambling because I've just seen what time it is and yeah I've talked for England today so thank you very much for watching uh, as usual please stay safe coronavirus still exists even if people aren't talking about it yes the hospitals are on a bigger strain more now than ever um, because the staff are all off sick with it so yes it does still exist don't think because uh, restrictions are now now um, lifted and things are easy now oh it's all gone away no it hasn't it hasn't gone away. Use your common sense. It's still there. Still use your own precautions. Use your common sense. Stay safe. Keep your loved ones safe. Okay. And thank you very much for watching. And if you have enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Fraser Colvin's website, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Have I said website? Probably not. Website as well. And uh, yeah. Check her out, absolutely amazing. Not just the subscription boxes, but also for goodies as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll shut up now <laughs> and I'll see you again next time. Thank you and I hope you have a magical week. Thank you again. Bye.